Let's look at the functions of the structures found in eukaryotic cells, and let's start with ribosomes. I've got an image of a ribosome here, it's the green structure you can see here, and what ribosomes do is that they translate messenger RNA. So here you can see messenger RNA, and messenger RNA is translated through this ribosome, and as this happens, the ribosome will produce protein. So what ribosomes do is they translate messenger RNA and by doing so they synthesize protein. Now let's look at the rough endoplasmic reticulum. I'm just going to abbreviate this. Um, and I've got an image of a cell here, and our rough endoplasmic reticulum is just here. We can see all these little dots are the ribosomes on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And what the rough endoplasmic reticulum does, it produces protein with aid of these ribosomes. And it produces protein that's going to be excreted, so it's not going to stay in the cell. So the ribosomes really produce the protein, and then the rough endoplasmic reticulum is going to modify this protein. And now let's look at the Golgi apparatus. I put the two together because they really have a similar function. Uh, once the protein um, it has passed through uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, it's going to travel to the Golgi apparatus. We can see it here. That little thing there is our protein, and it travels to Golgi apparatus. And here, the proteins modified even further. And the Golgi apparatus packs, basically, packs up the protein. It packages it. And once uh, the proteins pass through the Golgi apparatus, it can then be let's, let's excreted the mitochondria. We've got a nice image of a mitochondrion here. And what mitochondrion really do is that they use oxygen to convert chemical energy into ATP. ATP is uh, the basic energy unit our body uses. So mitochondria are really responsible for aerobic respiration. And they really produce the energy needed uh, for the cell. Lysosomes. Lysosomes are uh, these round structures you'll find in cells, and they contain many digestive enzymes. So these little black spots you see are the digestive enzymes. And what lysosomes do is that when they come in contact with a foreign particle, uh, they digest this particle. So for example here, we'll have our lysosome, foreign particle, and this uh, lysosome is going to engulf this uh, foreign particle. And so this foreign particle is basically going to end up inside the lysosome and all these digestive enzymes are just going to digest this particle. And so there is no more particle left. Uh, what lysosomes then really do is uh, they take macromolecules and break them down into uh, their monomers. So they take big molecules such as lipids and proteins and just break them down into their monomers. And finally, the nucleus. The nucleus, if you remember, we've got our cell. The nucleus is this bit here. And it contains all the genetic material of the cell.
this genetic material is passed on uh, to daughter cells and so it really is the hereditary material. And what I mean by genetic material and hereditary material is really the chromosomes uh, found, within, the chromosomes are found uh, within the nucleus. And uh, what the nucleus basically does is because it contains this genetic material and the genetic material is really what controls the cell. So it's responsible for controlling the cell. And that's it.